In this video, we're going to be working through an Outlook Weekly Challenge, which involves parsing website data. So we're going to be downloading data from a URL. We're going to be cleaning it up slightly, and then we're going to be splitting it out. And this will result in a tabular format. And so let's get into the workflow. The first thing we're going to do is drag in the download tool, which can be found by typing in download up here, or by scrolling along to the developer section and dragging it in. If we have a look at this download tool, you can see in the field section we've got field 1. We've only got one field in the data set itself, so this is the only option. The output will be outputting as a string. And if we look at the output, we'll see this is the input and this is the output. So we've now got two extra columns, one's download data. One's headers. If you look at the browse tool in the cell viewer, you see all these different tables. But we've also got table names, we've got subsection headers, and we've got the overall header. The next step here is to split on a new line because Every bit of data is stored in this first entry. And using the text to columns tool, the delimiter will be a bark slash n, which is a new line. We're going to be splitting download data and we're going to be splitting to rows. Starting off with this, splitting on it gives us this. And each row is split into a new line which makes things much easier to work with. So this tool can be found in the parse section up here. Text the columns. The next step is to use the data cleanse tool. We're going to remove leading and trailing white space, tabs, line breaks and duplicate white space. And we'll go from this. You can see here we've got some indicators, some red indicators at the top right. And we can remove these. And now we've got rid of these. We've also got them in this column as well, but we're not actually going to be using this column all that much. Next step is to create unique records for each one. The reason we're doing this is because we've got lots of different tables here. We want to be able to split this out, categorize them, give the table name, and also give the the section name. The way we're doing this is by saying if the first five letters of the download data column from the row plus one is year, then start a new record. So we'll just add one to the previous record. Here we can see we've got one just above the year because we're adding one to the row previous. Now that sets that out as a new record. The next time it finds the year value, we'll have the previous row added one from the previous row. We'll go from one to two. And this happens for the rest of the data. We don't actually group by anything here, and we've just named this unique record. The next step is to Create a section number. At this point, we've created a unique record, but we want to create a section number as well because there's sometimes more than one more than one table in a section. Whereas what we've done previously is just created a new record for each table. The way we do this is we look for these double empty cells here, and anything that comes after these double cells will be set as 4. You can see this in the code. And if two rows, two rows before the value and one row before the value is empty, then we'll add one to the section number. If it's not empty, then we just leave it the same. And we're going from 3 to 4. The next step is to split into sections. 
and if you click up the top here, you select the first one row from section number. This should give us a section name. You can see here, got lots of different sections. The next step is to select. So we select the forms we need, unique record, section number, and download data. I'm going to rename download data section name. These four tools previous can all be found in the preparation section, and the majority of the tools going forward will be found in the preparation section as well, except from any green tools which will be found in the parse section and any purple tools which will be found in the join section. The next section is a subsection header and for this for this section we're going to split we're going to take the first one row from each unique record. In the previous section we're taking the first one row from the sections. And this time we'll get the table headers rather than the section headers. But there's one issue here, and that is that we also have the, the overall name of the, the page. We just want to remove this, and it's the first line. So we can just use the filter tool and we can remove that first record. We could also use a sample tool here and just skip the first record, similar to what we've done here. The last step is to rename download data to table name just to make the name slightly clearer. Final step is to take the tables. This is the data itself. I'm going to skip the first one the first row for each unique record. We go from this to this. You can see we've still got some of the text in here. And we're going to remove these table headers. I'm going to say when the row download data, when the column download data does not equal this string and it's not empty, then we're going to filter it. That will be the true tab here. We'll look at the input. So you've got rid of these blanks and we've also got rid of the headers. I'm going to look at the true output. I'm left with the data. We've got some text in here just because it's not, there's a bit of variation between how the, the data is set up. This will be removed at the end though. Next, we'll use the formula tool and we'll take the left four characters from download data, which will give us the year. Once we've extracted the year, we'll then remove those first five letters from the string and we'll be left with just the data for the month so we'll be left with January up to December. If we look here you can see there's a 2017, 2018, 2019 beforehand and in the input we've removed that and we've extracted it and got it in a separate section up here. The next tool we'll use is the splitting the text to columns tool. We're going to split on download data using space as the delimiter. We'll be splitting into 12 columns because it's 12 different months. And it's not mandatory, but I've changed the root, the output root name to month. And we'll see that we get this from month 1 up to month 12. In the select tool here, we've renamed some of the months. Month 1's been renamed to January. Month 2 has been renamed to February and so on. At this point, we've done the processing we need to on each of the sections. And we can now join the data. We're going to first join the subsection headers with the tables. Using a unique record and section number as the, the joining keys. I'm going to remove the unique record and the section number from the right output. We'll be left with this, which is a bit nicer. We've got the table name as well as all the data itself. And the data has now been split into different columns. 
Next, we're going to use the section number as a joining key to add in the section headers. Now we've got the section names as well. We're going to drop the unique record and the section number on the left hand side and on the right we'll drop the section number. I'm going to use the select tools to rename the first two, although this is not mandatory but it's just to clean the data up slightly. We'll be left with employment category and category. Use the data cleanse tool again, and we're going to clean up the different months and the year column. We're going to remove letters and punctuation. This was just because there was some variation in how the data was formatted, and we'll get rid of any text values. And the final step is just to remove any rows where we've got three blank values here and this is usually the rows where there's text and we've really just removed those rows since it's pretty useless and for the final format here because we've got employment category we've got the category we've got the year and we also have all the months as well this finishes the workflow and i hope you found this useful